Hello and welcome. This clip shows how we can customize a simulation running in Mimic Simulator. We just invoked the graphical interface called Mimic View from the Start menu. This displays the main Mimic View panel and the log window for troubleshooting. We have loaded the, the default lab configuration that comes with Mimic. The red icons are our simulated devices. We'll turn them on, which is just like turning power on real devices. While they are starting, we see the progress in the status bar, the progress bar, and the log. We are interested in the rightmost seventh device, a simulation of a Cisco 7513. That simulation was discovered by the management application we are using to visualize this simulation. Castle Rocks SNMPC. Among the many simulations that we have used with this application is the icon for this device in question. We double click to display the hub view for the device. We'll display the interface statistics for the second port. Then we will change the statistics of that interface in real time and see how the graph changes. Since the graph monitors all columns of the interface table, we first have to deselect some static values, like the speed and MTU, to get a better view of the dynamic values. The graph application is plotting delta values each second. We will change the values for incoming unicast packets and octets underneath the selected entry. We will switch over to the Mimic View panel. Notice the polling activity on the seventh agent shown in red. We will drill into the MIB of that simulation and display the interface table. Out of all the MIB objects and instances, we will change only the incoming unicast packets for the second interface. Notice the variation in delta values that are caused by the default random simulation. You can also use a constant simulation, then that graph would be a straight line useful for testing your app, just not very appealing for this demo. As soon as we press apply, the graph changes and the light gray line surges. Notice that it hovers around the rate that we have changed it to. We'll also change the incoming octets and again the line surges as soon as we press apply. Of course, whatever we're doing in this GUI can be scripted. In fact, the entire GUI is just a big mimic script. We'll reduce the rate so that you can see that we can set any value at any time. Notice how the gr dark gray line drops on Q. Then we'll increase the incoming error rate simulating failures. Notice that its rate was very low, or about 10 per hour. We'll change it to 1000 per second. The green line appears on the graph. This shows that we can easily introduce pathological conditions into the scenario. Rather than having to cause errors by manipulating the physical world, we just point and click. We'll reset the scale on the graphing application so that you can see the green line. You saw how easy it is to customize the values in a simulation using Mimic. Thanks for watching.